Hey what is up guys, Ivan Key here. In this short tutorial video I'm going to tell you how to fix the menu glitch for the Furudashi Drift Cybersport game on Steam. Now you guys might encounter this problem where you try to create your profile where I selected the avatar and, uh, and write your name but unfortunately you can't continue the games. So what you need to do is go directly to the link that I'm providing in Inside the description below and then it will go to this at fly website don't worry it's not, an, uh, it's not a virus or anything just simply wait for five seconds and then skip the ads and then it will you it will redirect you to another website not this website apparently all right so it goes to show you like this and then if it's not redirecting you just click this manually then wait until it redirect to Mediafire and then next what you need to do is just wait for the download link to be prepared and then just click download right once once you have everything downloaded i've already downloaded mine so what you need to do is just go to the download the file the download the file will be in zip file so what you need to do is just extract the file and go to the site and inside the zip file there are codex file and update file so first thing that you need to do is go to the codex file then copy all these three things and then go to the Furidashi Drift Cybersport folder game and then paste all the three files there and replace it and once you have done that go back to the zip file and then go to the update file and then go to the setup.exe just click yes this is this music it's annoying alright uh, so next what you need to do is go to browse and then find your game folder just click ok and then install use yes that once it says already successfully installed it means you are ready to go just click finish and you can close this one and then just run the game and just click yes So in the game, uh, it will pop up the same thing, it will show you to create the avatar and insert the name, I've already done mine, and then once you press continue, it will show you this menu. So when this menu has popped up, it shows that the games are ready to be played. So you go to any setting that you want, and then just play. So that is it just for the tutorial, if you like what you're watching, like this video, uh, subscribe to my channel and I'll be glad to do more videos after this. Thanks guys.